Hello and welcome back to this video tutorial series on processing and uh, in the previous video we learned the basics of animations and processing we didn't go into more details uh, we just stick uh, to the basic steps but in this video we're gonna go into a little more details about how we can create animations and how we can control the animations so so let's just get started so as we all know the first thing that we really need to do is write the setup and draw functions so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to write the setup and draw functions and in this video we're simply going to repeat what we have already done in the previous video so we're basically going to draw a circle and we're going to increase its size so uh, let's just set our radius values to something like 100 and in the setup we're gonna set up our window by writing in the size of our window so the size of our window let's just set it 600 comma 600 for now and in our draw function in our setup function we also set up a background so I want to keep the background as white so I'm gonna put in 255 comma 255 255 which is the RGB representation of a white color and in our draw functions we want to draw a circle now if you remember we can draw circle by using the lifts function and we can put in the location so a location uh, was 300 comma 300 and the width and height of our circle are going to be r comma r and what we did was we increased we increased the, uh, the the size of our circle so we basically increased the R value and if we run it so here is a circle uh, increasing in size now the first thing that to, uh, that we need to discuss in this video is that we are not in full control of our animation as you can see we haven't controlled our fill we haven't controlled our um, strokes so I'm gonna write, uh, quickly write in the fill and stroke for our lips so fill is basically what goes inside of our lips so for now let's just give it a bright red that is 255.00 and if we run it now you can see that it's a red circle now uh, for now it just looks okay so for now nothing nothing seemed to go wrong but if I uh, if I change the location of our circle let's just say the y value and if I animate um, the y value as well uh, in a similar fashion that we uh, animated our radius value but this time I wanna animate our y value so if I animate my y value and then run it again you can see there is our problem so we wanted to move our circle but as you can see a circle is not just moving it's l it's leaving a trail behind it it is because we haven't set the background of our sketch now we've only set the background inside of a setup function and as you might have already known that the setup function only runs once so what we're basically doing is setting up our background color as white for once and we're just forgetting about it but in order to get rid of the trail that you can see is we need to set, we need to set the color of the background uh, continuously so what we really need to do is we need to uh, set up this background color inside of our draw function so I'm gonna, I'm gonna write a background inside of our draw function 255 comma 255 comma 255 now if I run it uh, as you can see there is no trail so this is you know this is the the thing that I really wanted to focus in this video now and the reason for this is let me elaborate it uh, for you so uh, if we only declare the background color inside our setup function it only runs once so what is really happening is that our background once it's set as white it is not being you know repainted so what we're seeing is uh, that the ellipse is being drawn over and over again and the the background function is not really 
uh, you know getting repainted so what we really want to do is we want to repaint the background uh, color each frame so the, so that the, we don't get the trail so this is the thing that I really want to focus in this video and in our next video we're gonna go a little more detail about this fill function as well as uh, the stroke function and we're gonna discuss this in, in our next video so uh, thank you